Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here on April 1st. Welcome to April. Traditionally, this is April Fool's Day. Uh, are you someone who likes to play April Fool's jokes? Uh, do you enjoy a good joke played on you or someone else? <laughs> someone else is always good, right? <laughs> I am not one who likes to play the jokes, mostly because it's just not how my brain works. I don't think them up. I'm just no good at that part. I do really enjoy a well-crafted April Fool's joke. No matter, I love the ones the businesses do, really. And they, you know, so you think there's this big exotic or really strange or bizarre thing and, you know, it turns out April Fool's joke. Those are so creative and I really love seeing them. So I'll be on the lookout today to see what I uh, observe in the, in the universe for April Fool's, uh, for the April Fool's Day. So we have, uh, just, I'm just going to walk through just a bunch of stuff, including we're going to put some critters up here and I've got a mail call and uh, I'm going to look at some stuff that I've got to do over here, just sort of uh, wing around the studio. And if you are listening to this while you're sewing or having breakfast, I am just celebrating you today on the 1st of April. Okay. Let's do, let's do this first. This is the block, block a day, and it's the same block repeated for March. It's a tradition now for March. Since I've done it three years in a row, I guess that would be a tradition. I do a block a day in March, and I have the whole top done. The whole top is sewn together. I got that done after, uh, yesterday evening. So, I'm debating on an inner border there. So, because, you know, I'm just one of these people who loves, can you see it? Who loves inner borders. I just have a hard time putting that border right to the center of the quilt. Uh, I showed the ambassador group and they were all like, yeah, it looks really good. You could just put it like, you know, whoops, it's pinned here. Hold on. You know, they're like, yeah, you could just put it like that. It'll be fine. It looks fabulous. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I think that hurts. I just can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I have to have an inner border. And so I've seen a couple of yours done. A couple of you have had tops and somebody had their inner border and it looked really good. And so I'm going to go with the teal, the same teal as the chain. It's, you know, I could go with a pink, but I just, um, I don't know. I wasn't finding a pink that I already had that I thought worked well enough. So I think I'm just going to do the teal and then I will also do the teal. This is the Promise Me fabric line and the teal here is from the new porch swing. So that is the new porch swing. Um, did you see the selvage on the edge? It says the best kind of friend is the kind you can sit on the front porch with. That's what it says on there. So <laughs> if you're doing selvage quilts, you want some of that for yours. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go put the border. Now, border width. I am a very visual person on the width. I, you know, the block is, I don't even remember what the block was. Is the eight inch blocks finished? Eight inch blocks finished. And what do I have is that width? I just sort of folded it up there and thought, well, that looks, that looks pretty good. And it is probably a bit wider than I want. That's, that's six inches. That's a six inch wide border. And it doesn't look bad. I kind of like it. I might just go for a five inch, a five inch wide, make it just a little bit narrower. We will, we will see. Okay. So uh, that, so debate, the debate is on. That is what I'm looking at for, for that guy. Now this is the month where we switch our calendar. And if you're doing a journal, like if you're writing in a journal and I had gotten this one and I decided I've, just for monthly on the calendar, I would, and maybe if I have other notes, I would put them in, but I would write what I did every day. I would try to write what I did every day. So how successful was I? Uh, here is, here is what I did for March. And I pretty much remember to write down every, every so often I would miss a few days, you know, like I'd have to go back. And one of the things I did note is that I was like cross stitching heavily up until like the past, you know, week or so when I haven't picked it up at all. So that's a goal for me to put back into the uh, routine. Now I was given this group of super darling stamps for, and I decided to use them all on the April page. Look how cute they are. So, so cute. And then the page right afterwards, I like a, 
<laughs> I like this ladybug with the pencil. They're just so darling. Uh, they make me smile. And then the little, the little mouse and her pinafore is on this page. So once again, this is all I'm going to do is just track so that I can sort of look at that calendar now and say, yeah, you know, every day except for one. I think there was just one day where I did no sewing or stitching or anything. And that's, you know, I always feel like I do this every day. And I think that I do because a lot of times I have to make something for filming. But like today, I don't have to make anything for filming. But I know like the past few days, I was always like, after I did this, I'm like, okay, I'm going to finish that. Uh, and just finishing up things or moving them into the next stage on the same day that I'm filming. So I felt like I was stitching or sewing every day, and I pretty much did. So that's super cool to know that, to realize what I thought actually did happen. Let's talk about this. I, I believe I have the April 4th, like, what is it, Tuesday or something, that will uh, look at the tulips and will start making one of these so that I can have it to enjoy and if you want to make one too. But I, what I did is I went out and I collected up a lot of your tulip blocks so that we could get a look at colors and see some inspiration. You know, basically, I want to be inspired. I want to see, because originally I thought maybe I'd make pink tulips. But, you know, I just did this with all the pink. And so I'd really like to switch it up and make the tulips in some other color. So first, let's just take a look at the tulips by you and you and you. <laughs> Barbara shows us a portion of hers with the blue tulip. I love that fabric for the blue tulip. And you see some stripes in the block up above. Charlene is coming in with red, red, everything red. Cheryl has uh, a sweet little print for her tulip, and you can see them all together as well. That looks fantastic. So some of you have shown like the all the grouping or parts of the grouping. So Cindy's done the same, a blue tulip for her, and I like the leaf fabric. That's really cool fabric, and her quilt is coming along fantastic. Look how look how awesome that is. Cynthia has a, a great text print on her tulip. I like that. Debbie has this beautiful sunshiny yellow. See, I'm thinking of yellow tulips. I don't know. Maybe yellow. Deborah has a ombre uh, tulip. It's a uh, pink. And then I really like that background fabric that she's using. That's really beautiful. Uh, just sets it off. And Denise, look at her with four of them quilted and a binding. Boom. Wow. You go, girl. Look at that. It is awesome. I love it. Now I can't wait to do it. <laughs> Diane has a super cute little stripe for hers and little polka dot leaves. Here's Diane's uh, portion of hers where the tulip is and it's a beautiful soft, look at that soft uh, baby, like baby blue almost, a beautiful little blue and peach for her quilt. Ellen has two yellow tulips, one on a dark background and one on a really fun and lively light background. And you see she rotated the leaves so that they're in a different angle. You can do that. Let's see, Gail has this gorgeous, looks like a William Morris style uh, fabric. It is so pretty for that tulip in teal. Carrie has a really fun, happy fabric of floral, big pop and floral for her tulip. Now, Marlene did hers in two tones, which I think is really cool. Look at that, the orange and the yellow, super cool. Mary's all together, we've got a fa the family portrait. Looks beautiful, the, oh, the, the quilt's coming along awesome. Mary Jo is using my fabric line, um, that is the uh, bird song. <laughs> Having a brain freeze there, uh, so it looks really good. Patricia fussy cut a bee, and then look how she fussy cut on the side with the partial bees. And the stem is incredible. Let's also fussy cut that print so that it has that whole stem in there. Love it. Paula's is gorgeous little purple print, purple floral. And then we're going to go into a little bigger floral with Peggy's. Very exuberant flowers on there. I love how that looks. That's my kind of thing big and bold. Peggy's is yellow and you can see a peak of her quilt there with it next to everything. Rita has a really cool print for hers. It's got a, like a flowers but in a sort of mosaic, you know, very, very structured. I like that. 
Sandy's is red, red, everything red. Red tulips. Sam debating red tulips as well. Sheila did hers as a stripe. I don't know if that's the actual fabric or if she pieced that. No, I think she pieced it. I can tell. So, But the whole quilt with that grays and peaches, little pops of turquoise, looks so good. Susan is a sort of a pinky red. Just looks fabulous in her quilt. It looks like she's used that fabric in another few of the blocks for the whole thing. Susan's is the kind of a um, burgundy and teal. That looks so good. And light blue with her light blue um, tulip. Suzette has a blue tulip down here. I love all the blue tulips. Maybe I need blue tulips. <gasps> Maybe. Tammy's is a purpley um, pink and pink leaves. I love it. And then Teresa finishes us up with this gorgeous plum colored. I can't wait to see all of your quilts that go with these wonderful, beautiful tulips. Thank you everybody for sharing. Those are so fantastic. I had so much fun and I was happy that some of you shared it within your whole quilt uh, so that we got to see it in your um, Sweet Childhood Memories quilt and get to see all the other blocks with it. That was really great. Uh, so I don't know where I'm leaning now. I, I really wasn't I'm delighted with the, the blue tulips. I thought, oh, those are so pretty, like light blue tulips. Um, so maybe I'll do light blue tulips. It isn't something I'd make. Otherwise, I'm leaning towards yellow or peach. Yeah, peach tulips would be really pretty. That kind of is like the pink, but I could do some peach and yellow. I mean, it's not many. We're only making, what, nine tulips. So, you know, I don't want to have it too chaotic. But, yeah. But, uh, okay, I have to decide by the time we, by the time we start doing that. <laughs> Big decisions in life, big decisions in life. All right, I'm going to take this down and bring out the critters. So I have them all in this bag and I know there's one in the mail call there that we're going to look at. And I know maybe one or two other people are sending me that they've already told me that they're sending me. Uh, and I'm not going to be making the critter stuff up in any time soon. Maybe this summer I will work on it. Um, you know, that, so we, I have a little bit of, of leeway here. So I have to do a little, um, just a list. I'm going to be keeping my own list of your name and which kind of critter you sent me. Uh, and then I, because it's getting too much for me to keep track of it, like in the pile here, because there's too many different ones. So just know, I've already told everybody that it came and you know that it came. So I have all these. I have to get out of the bag to go with this. So I will open all those, get all these, and stick them up on the wall. Before I get any further putting the rest up, I've got a couple other bigger ones and a bunch of the medium to smaller ones. Let's open the other two that came in the mail. So this one is from Judith in California. And she sent, she sent a card. And what's in here? I think he might be a little bit bigger. So, or me, oh, more medium size. Okay, so here we go. Look, <laughs> look at the squirrel. I think Kay in our morning chat was wondering where there was a good squirrel pattern. So here's a cute one. I will link down below uh, to where this is um, or where all the animals are. I have a running list. I keep adding anybody new. And so this is a great size. We'll just put there for right now. And then the other is from Janet in Arizona. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at the plants. Love that card. Love the plants. All right. He's folded up in here. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Oh, another cute elephant. Look how sweet. Look how totally sweet. Love that turquoise ear on it. Okay, let me put that and the rest of them up on the wall. My wall is full. My wall will be full. We will not be able to add any more animals on the wall. Let's start like taping them to the floor down here. <laughs> 
I am standing way back, almost as far away as I can in my room to get the whole thing in the camera. Look at how sweet they are. So there's a bit of overlapping, which is totally cool. I mean, I'm seeing this as like, oh, that would be kind of cool to mesh them all into one quilt, but I can't get too many more if I'm going to do that. Uh, there is some space here, like under the dog, and, you know, I would have to probably maybe even measure these out and do them on a grid, but I thought got to come in here and check the squirrel's eye. Like a couple of the other ones, the fussy cutting of the fabric. Look at that. A dot for the eye. So incredibly dear. And I had to put the piggies next to each other. Mama and the baby pig. Yeah, got a bunny up there at the top. So cute. It is cool looking at the colors. I mean, they do go together. I think it's really fabulous. Everything is playing so well together. I even have my three butterflies in there from the socialites. Yeah, there we go. They look amazing. Thank you, everybody, for having so much fun with me. I know there's a couple more coming. I know. Well, it is quite fabulous to see them all together. I hope you enjoyed seeing them, you know, face on like that. I'll take a picture, too, this time. I mean, they're just, they're just put up there. There's nothing with the, um, the location of them or anything like that. And I'm not even sure that I would want to try to mesh them all together like this with no separators between the blocks. I don't know, I kind of love the idea of something separating the blocks versus just all side by side, like in this massive collage. Uh, I mean, it would have to have a little something in between, but man, it's filled up, isn't it? It's so good. This love them. They're so fun. So fun. <laughs> okay, let me wrap up with this mail calls. I've got two mail calls <laughs> that, that are, well, did not have critters in them. That's <laughs> so this one is from Suzanne in uh, New York. Look at the card. Oh, so cute. Look at that little guy. Look at the, the Easter gnome. <laughs> so she found me some yummy things. There are some grape, Concord grape gummies. Now, I was up in New York teaching once where we were near where the Concord grapes were grown. That was just really cool to see. I can smell them. They smell so good. And... The peep gummies that, oh, this is look. I've been dying to open one of these and look. Okay, just going to open it here so we can see what do the peep gummies look like. Because oh, are you like me? You're like, well, what? They did make a little window in the bag so we can see. Oops. Okay, what are they like? Oh, they're like sugary. Look at that. So there's the peep. <laughs> so cute. All right, the other one is from my friend Barbara, <laughs> and she lives near Peeps, where the Peeps are born. <laughs> and so she has, I think it's a tradition now. Should I say that, Barbara? That she sends me uh, a few goodies from the area. So I'm just going to hold them up. First, she found some marshmallow scented Easter grass. Oh, <sighs> Good stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> she, she thinks it smells good, too. She sent me a bunch of different peeps. You know these are going in the coffee. Going in the coffee. So the party cake peeps. And, of course, some regular peeps where they are just born. I think that's, isn't that just born, the name of the company? And what else did she find? She found some cotton candy peeps. Oh, cotton, okay, look at that. Those look crazy. So, oh, I'm going to have to try that out. Now, when we opened this, Mr. Greg discovered the marshmallow, the chocolate-covered one, and he had to try one of those right away. So, he thought they, they approved. He, he thought they were pretty good. But so, they come in all, you know, of course, you've got the, the bunnies, and those are wild berry. And what did she send me? Some fruit punch. <laughs> Look at them. Pink peeps. Pink. Well, they're kind of like coral color peeps, right? Don't you think coral color? Oh my goodness. There's a little, there's, look at how cute this is. A little tin. Look at that little tin. And it's full of, she's got, oh, she found some, <laughs> what, oh, what, it's a flashlight. Oh my goodness. Am I getting you in the eye? I hope not. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. What's this other one? Dying, dying, dying. Okay. Give peeps a chance. Give them a chance, my friends. Give them a chance. Barbara, this is epic. Epic. Epic peep stuff. <laughs>
my mic came off, so I had to stick it back on. It was all twisted up. So this is like a container with some hard candies in it, so I have to pry that open. Uh, she found some lip balm. It's vanilla. <laughs> More flavors, chocolate bunnies, chocolate covered, chocolate bunny peeps, yeah. And oh, oh my goodness, a few of you mentioned these, the Dr. Pepper. Greg likes Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna make him try these. <laughs> Couple more. She's got the ch um, ones the peeps with sitting in the chocolate. Like they're they're so cute. Oh, there's some fun stuff in here. And then what are these? Are these cookies? Peep cookie. Oh, look how cute they are. Look at those. Oh my gosh, Barbara, you have just outdone yourself. And there are some gummies in a box. Yes, I have. I will be like gummy heaven, gummy peep heaven, and the piece de resistance. The Peep Book. Oh, recipes and crafts to make with your favorite peeps. Oh, this, so, okay, they stole my idea. <laughs> Look at that. Float them in your coffee. Oh, peeps in a blanket. This is so funny. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm dying. Peep fondue. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Mwah. I just love it, love it so much. Thank you everybody to contributing uh, to the Critter Parade here. And it's gonna be exciting to put those together in a, I'll work on it in the summer. I'm not sure what month, but you know, there'll be a, a place there where I'm like, okay, let's get these out and put them together. Uh, but I'll keep showing them if the new critters come in. I, I may have to have a second wall. I don't know, tell Greg, just have to build another house with a second wall <laughs> so I can put all the critters up. I love you. Thank you for being here in the Slum Zone. I will see you online.